I'm back in the shop again today and I wanna to try to make some real progress with this new rack that I'm making for the four-wheeler. Those are the goals for today. Let's get started. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. So one of the things with this new rack that's really kind of been bogging me down is I'm trying to decide whether or not I should make something that bolts onto the existing rack or just remove the existing rack altogether and make a completely new rack. And the more that I think about it, the more that I think I want to just take this old one off and we'll just start fresh. I think that'll make it look better when it's all done because it won't, you know, just be kind of cobbled onto the existing rack and then I won't have to make any permanent modifications to the original rack, so if, if for any reason I ever want it again, I've still got it and it's untouched. The factory rack just attaches to the four-wheeler with six bolts and it's pretty easy to take on and off. So I'm thinking that I will just take this off, I'll make some new mount pieces that can bolt up to the four-wheeler and then we can just sort of build the rack while it's on the four-wheeler. With the factory rack removed, you can kind of see what their uh, strategy was or their method of attaching this to the four-wheeler. They just took pipe and then they smashed it flat so that it would bolt up to the frame. I am not gonna do it quite like this, but I am gonna sort of copy this design. What's gonna be easier and actually a little bit stronger, I think, is to cut some tabs out of my one by three eighths flat bar and then notch some tube and weld those tabs in the tube so that they bolt onto the factory holes and that pipe comes up through the plastic. If it doesn't make sense, just give me a minute, I'll show you and it'll make perfect sense. Next, I need to take this little piece that I cut and drilled the hole in, and I need to make a notch in this short piece of half inch pipe so that the flat piece kind of fits in there nicely and then I can weld it all together. All right, these little guys are done now. Let's get them mounted up to the four-wheeler and then we can start sort of building off of them. So already I can tell that I made these pieces a little bit too long and it would put the rack up a little bit higher than I want it. So that's better than the other way of them being too short because it's a lot easier for me to just cut these off a little bit shorter and get the rack down where I want it. So I'm gonna put this piece of angle iron on top of here and you can see how much of a gap there would be between the fender and the rack. I think we're gonna lower that a little bit. After a ton of calculations, measurements, scratching my head and just really trying to think this thing through, um, I think I've figured out what my rear support needs to be. I didn't film any of that just because so much of it is kind of trial and error and it just doesn't really make good footage. I've got this set up now and I think I will just tack this one for starters and then we'll bolt it onto the four-wheeler, take some other measurements to check how it came out and if everything came out good, we can go ahead and finish welding. All right, that's still hot. A little bit, not bad.
Now I can set my rake for the basket. What I mean by the rake is sort of what level it is. I don't think I want it actually flat as the four-wheeler sits because with the weight of me and Callie, the back will sag a little bit and then it'll kind of be like tipping back. So we do want it raked up a little bit, but not as much as what the pipes would put it at now. That's a pretty steep rake. I think we probably want to be more like down in this. Got all my pieces tacked together, bolted on the four-wheeler, and so far everything is looking good. I'm gonna show you. The first thing that I looked at is, is the four-wheeler level? And surprisingly, it actually is uh, sitting pretty level. So now that we know the four-wheeler is level, we can check our first two pieces. They look good. I did have to grind on one just a little bit to make them perfect, but they're good now. We'll check these bars. So you can see they're not absolutely perfect, but they're within the, the lines there, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Now we'll check the tops. Again, not absolutely perfect, but they're, they're pretty close. And then we'll go uprights. Good. And good enough. The next step now is I'm going to weld or tack the piece that's going to go across the front. I want to tack that on there to lock these two pieces together. And then over here on the table, we're going to make the rear half of the lower rack and weld it to the top rack, if that makes sense. So the point of doing all this is that I'm going to basically have two halves and then I can bring the rack that's on the table over here and fit everything up and tack it into place. And then at that point, we'll have a, a mostly complete shell of a rack. How good did I measure? I decided that I wanted to make the lower portion of the rack uh, sort of like a broken corner so that it's not a sharp 90 that I'm always hitting myself and hurting myself on. So this requires a little bit more thinking than just, you know, putting a 90 here, but I'll show you kind of how I'm figuring out what the angles need to be. I know that each piece of angle iron I cut needs to be on a 22 and a half. When I know that this corner is a perfect 90, then I know that this is a 45. This has to intersect it there. So I need to make a mark on that without moving it. So even though my mark is a 45, I know that the how do I want to say this? The, the long end of the, or the short end of the angle has to be there. That's about what we need.
this frame is really starting to come together, I think it's pretty clear to see what this thing is going to look like. Definitely hangs off the back quite a bit. It looks a little weird, but you know, function over fashion, right? So there is one more feature that I want to add to this before I take it off of the quad and weld it in its entirety. And that is I would like to make a little step, so to speak, that kind of goes on top of one of the fenders here, or maybe both fenders, I'm not really sure yet. But the point of this step is so that when Callie is jumping on and off of this, she's not landing on the fender. And the only reason that I don't want her to do that is just because that plastic could be really slippery and I don't want her to like end up falling. So the plan is to take this piece of pipe and bend a little hoop here and then that'll kind of act as a step. I'm gonna to try to do this all out of one piece. Uh, so let's give it a go. As it turned out, bending that out of one piece wasn't gonna happen. The, uh, there's just not enough room in the bender here. Uh, by the time you get to 90, the pipe was hitting the jack so you couldn't finish the, the bend to get the proper degree. So I have to cut this into two pieces and scab them back together, but that's gonna be fine. After staring at this thing for a little while, I think that I'm only going to put this step thing on one side. And the reason for that is that on the other side of the seat, there is a handle that is used to, uh, it's, well, it's a latch to take the seat off. So if I try to put another step here, it's just going to kind of be in the way whenever you want to take the seat off. So this is pretty much what the basket is going to look like. Uh, the only thing that's left to do really is to put a floor on it and for that I'm going to need to cut out some sheet metal. Originally I had thought about using plywood as a base on this but I decided against that because I mean let's face it eventually the plywood would rot out it'd have to be replaced it'd just end up being a hassle down the road. If I put some sheet metal on the bottom of this now it should in theory last forever or at least a lot longer than wood and my thought is to then put a um, i'll cut out a stall mat that will fit you know so that's three quarters of an inch thick about about as thick as plywood and that'll be soft and offer some traction for cali the nice thing about that is that i can hose it off it can get wet it, it won't matter it'll be pretty indestructible <laughs> now and I was having some problems with the MIG welder. I'm not really sure what was the matter but um, I think I got this welded good enough. I had to grind some of these welds off because they ended up uh, looking pretty ugly but they should be strong enough so now I think all that's really left to do is to skin this thing with some sheet metal.
might have a problem here. Finally, this thing is done. Uh, all that's left now is to paint it, and actually, I'm not gonna paint it per se. What I plan to do is do some spray on bed liner on this thing, and then, like I mentioned before, I'll, I'll get a stall mat and cut it out so that it fits in here just right. So it's not done done, but the welding's done and the fabrication is done. So let's go ahead and put it on the four-wheeler and see how it looks. Well, it fits. It looks a little weird, I'll admit. Uh, it's big, it sticks off the back quite a bit, but uh, for, for the purpose of what this is for, it's, it's actually gonna be really good, I think. So this ended up being 38 inches wide and 21 inches deep, I think. So there's plenty more than enough room uh, for her to sit back here. I mean, the footprint of this is larger than like what most dog crates are. So she's definitely got enough room. But then the other thing that this platform will be used for is hauling around like electric fence reels and things like that. So the idea kind of being that, you know, Callie can ride on the back down to the ranch when we get there, she'll be off on the ground. And then when I'm moving fences or doing whatever, I've kind of got like a little bed on my four wheeler now. So the next step will be bed liner that's in the mail right now. I'm not really sure when it's gonna get here. I'm hoping in the next couple of days. But once we get this thing painted up, get the stall mat on there, it'll be done. But that's gonna have to wait for another video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.